On this Thanksgiving travel period, by the way, shaping up to be the busiest on record. ABC's Rena Roy has more on the rocky start and how the weather could impact your plans. The Thanksgiving travel rush off to a rocky start for some, with hundreds of delays in the Northeast due to an air traffic controller shortage. United Airlines now slamming the FAA for those staffing shortages, citing delays at New Jersey's Newark Airport, one of its hubs, saying since the start of November, more than 343,000 United travelers have been disrupted by delays, cancellations, long taxi times and longer flight times related to air traffic control delays, many dealing with long lines and massive crowds. We're super anxious and, and it's a most heavily travel day in the, of the year. Wintry weather also on the way for millions. A major storm moving through Colorado is expected to drop three feet of snow in the Rockies. That storm then bringing snow and rain to the East Coast tomorrow. Today is expected to be one of the busiest this travel period. TSA expecting to screen 2.9 million passengers today alone. It's not that, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. My mom made us leave the house at four, so she wanted us extra early. Overall though, things mostly smooth so far at some major hubs like Atlanta's Hartsfield Jackson Airport. On the roads, more than 71 million people getting behind the wheel this year, which could set a record. Worst traffic will be this afternoon from 1 to 5 p.m., so you'd want to drive after that. AAA says waiting until Thursday to leave would be even better with minimal traffic expected. The next busiest travel day is expected to be this Sunday. Whether you're flying or driving home, experts suggest returning Black Friday or Tuesday, December 3rd to avoid crowds. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.